Tesla is suing the largest gas station or service station, as we call them in Australia, in existence in Germany. Now, there's one brand in Germany who rules above them all. The reason being that the German gasoline petrol station network, it used to be kind of a state monopoly. Then they privatized it. This company bought all the stations. Tesla's saying this is illegal. Here's why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If you're wondering a bit about me, my background, well, I'll put a link in the description to our GoFundMe campaign, which is for my wife and for her current stage four cancer battle. So that's going on right now. A bit of a challenge for her, for us to get our heads around this and work around this at the moment. But, um, you know, we're doing our best. And with your support, it's been amazing. Tesla has partnered with Dutch charging company FastNed to sue the largest German gas station operator. They're called Tank and Rast. With a dramatic uptick in the need for EV chargers, in Europe in particular, where EV adoption is skyrocketing, it was only a matter of time, says Teslarati, before a charger placement entered the courtroom. Today, Tesla has announced it is suing the largest gas station operator in Germany. It's going to be doing it alongside a Dutch EV charging company called FastNed to challenge the monopoly of German gas station operator Tank and Rast. Now, why does it have a monopoly? Well, it's complicated. However, what happened was that the German government set up a bunch of monopolized gas stations, petrol stations along the autobahns. No one else was able to do it. Then they privatized them and sold them all to Tank and Rast. So Basically, what it means is the only gas stations or service stations, if you've ever driven down a German autobahn that you'll ever see, or almost only, 95% of all of them are Tank and Rast branded. They have a complete monopoly over the entire highway network in Germany. And this actually happened all the way back in 1998, when this network was privatized and sold off to Tank and Rast. However, what this means is that Tank and Rast have a complete monopoly over EV charges along the autobahn as well, which is obviously not good because then it means you're stuck using their charges. If there's no choice, the price is going to be high. If you have a monopoly, well, we all know, we all know what happens with monopolies. They're not good for anyone. At the moment, Tesla cannot block Tank and Rast from placing charges. I mean, it's fair enough that Tank and Rast want to place charges. They should do that. They should continue to do that. But alongside Fastnet, Tesla hopes to be granted the right to place its charges at Tank and Rust locations as well, which the automaker argues would ensure consumer choice availability. Now, Tesla is not saying it should be free for them to do this. Tesla is not saying, hey, you should just give us something for nothing. They're saying, hey, how is it that only one company can have EV charges along the autobahn? That is ridiculous. And I agree. Let me know what your thoughts are. Ahead of its scheduled court date, which is occurring later today, a FastNed representative stated that the two charging operators should have the opportunity to place charges at Tank and Rast locations, not only as a way to expand consumer offerings, but also because charging is fundamentally different than fueling your car, which Tank and Rast has previously received permitting for. It's not just about this case, but about the competition in general, said the FastNed representative. Charging at service areas should become fairer, more open, and cheaper. And here's the thing. I'm not exactly sure on the pricing of Tesla's superchargers in Germany, but I know what they're like in Norway. They're approximately 50%, and in some cases, 60%, even more, some of them, cheaper than all of their competition. Tesla to some degree has a sort of monopolized the charging situation in Norway because they're charging so much less than everyone else. Their charges, everyone knows that they work 99% of the time and they have a good charging speed. So it makes sense. But I mean, that's just Tesla's choice. It's Tesla's choice to offer that product at that price. Its competition can do so as well if they choose to. The ruling here in Germany, anticipated to be reached after a lengthy court battle, will be challenged by this gasoline station operator. As of today, the case is being held at the Higher Regional Court of Dusseldorf, but if appealed, it could go to the German High Court 
or make its way to the European Court of Justice in an international court operated by the European Union. Now, if it were to go to the European Court of Justice, the European Court of Justice does not like monopolies, so Tesla and Fastnet would have a pretty good chance of winning here. Tesla Rati says the irony of the current case is Tank and Russ only recent interest in EV charging. In other words, in the past, they weren't interested at all. I mean, they definitely were not early adopters by any stretch of the imagination. Until recently, the convenience chain had no charges at all at most of its locations. And it only received a minimal number of charges through a partnership with regional charging operators and a European operator, Ionity. So you're probably thinking along this video, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. I've seen Ionity, I've used Ionity. Yeah, that's because Ionity are basically the sole provider. They have a contract with this gas station operator to use their gas stations to put EV charges in. Still Monopoly, it's really no different. With Europe's largest car market, a significant consideration here. And with the very fast electrification of German cars, I mean, EV percentages, sales of EVs are continuing to go up really, really quickly. This means it's very, very important. The future of EV charging in Germany here is at stake. Will a German high court let Tesla get access to fast charging on the Autobahn? Or will they prevent them? This is going to be an interesting battle. I think Tesla knows it's in for a long, tough challenge. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.